He walked through the crowd and the sound and the lights. And his ears heard the thump of their joy and delight. And it took him right back to his earliest years, to that lost, lonely boy who cried all of those tears. That lost, lonely boy, isolated, sad, with no home of his own, no mom, no dad. And as the Grinch looked around, he felt downright scared. As he remembered that Christmas where nobody cared, where nobody showed, not even a flea. And there were no cards, no gifts, and no tree. And as he watched other kids, one thing became clear. That this was the single worst day of the year. And now here it was, that day once again, and he felt all those feelings he felt way back when, when he'd watch who's young and old all sit down to feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. They'd feast on who pudding, and rare who roast beast, which is something the Grinch could not stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all, Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. sing and they'll sing 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 yes he couldn't recall without feeling the sting so the grinch finally declared i must stop this whole thing why for 53 years i put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? Then he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. I'm going to steal their Christmas. All the trimmings, all the trappings, all their gifts and garlands. When they wake and see it's gone, then all their joy and happiness will be gone as well. So prepare yourself, Max, for tomorrow we begin!